All right, and what is absolutely not my third attempt at playing the last day of spring. I know this says day one of summer. That's because it's definitely not my, uh, my third attempt at this. Here we go. I thought I made a fatal mistake. I forgot that I picked up a red cabbage seed. And so I was like, crap, I didn't buy the red cabbage seed. That screws my entire run. So I reset the entire save file from a backup. Um, and then realized I had uh, got the red cabbage seeds. So that was a complete waste of my time. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab some geodes. We're going to grab five iron bars. We're going to grab some food. We're going to grab, um, what else we going to grab? We're going to grab some gifts. I'm going to gift the wizard. I'm going to gift Evelyn and George. Actually, let's save the inventory spot, gift them that one. Um, and then we're going to swing by the community center. Are we going to swing by the community center? I don't think we are going to swing by the community center. I think I'm going to... Oh, I have a jelly right there. So I'm going to sell that jelly. Uh, we are going to swing by the museum, however. Or am I going to swing by the... Yeah, I'm, well, yeah, I'm going to be over there with Geo, so I'll have to do that. Um, it's maple syrup. I was going to make a... Or, uh, not I was. I'm going to make a beehive. Get a beehive going here. Let's get this beehive put down somewhere here. And I think that's it. So we're going to go... Uh, the oak resin can go to the community center. Let's go to the community center. Um, the oak resin can go to the community center. I think there's a... I'm going to take a red mushroom with me. For reasons that will become apparent... No, I'm not. No, I'm not, because I need that red mushroom for something else. Okay. Although... Yeah, I'm going to take a red mushroom with me. Um, for reasons that will become apparent later in life. Uh, Alright, let's go to the wizard. I'm also going to take my scythe with me, actually. I'm, I'm going to drop off that and take my scythe. If I come across any grass, I'm going to start slicing up some grass. Uh, so I can start getting... Hey, in my silo, which is going to be very useful. I want to leave some grass around so it will regrow a bit, but I um, want to start getting some hay going. Okay, so we're going to start gifting the wizard, so it's going to be a bit of a pain to, to gift the wizard every... You know, to walk all the way down there every twice a week, but whatever. Anything I want here? Tomato, cave, carrot, kale. I need to get a rare seed at some point, actually. Or two or three of them. Hmm. Because they grow in fall. I need... How many do I need? I think I need to ship one. I need one for Master Cannoli. I need... That might be it. find an apprentice. Don't look at me. Next stop is going to be... Uh, let's go back into town. Let's go into town, finish the gifting. We will... Um... Should I swing by Pierre's first? No, I can do the gifting first. Maybe. I need to get I need to get some stuff out of my inventory, so <laughs> I should probably do some gifting. Um, is there something here? No. Let's go gift Evelyn and George, and then maybe we'll swing by. Maybe we'll do all the 
community center stuff and whatever. Did I actually bring one? That's what I did. There we go. There you go, Evelyn. Have a flower. Nice to be so close to the ocean. True story. The kids, we as kids, we hunted for seashells after the tide went out. Those were the days. And George, for you, you get a leak. Aren't you cold? Not really. It's summer. Well, actually, this is day 28 of spring. Uh, next up, let's go to the community center. Drop off a couple things. Then we'll swing by Pierre's, get some seeds. And, uh, yeah, we'll do that. So, oak resin goes here somewhere. What is it? Enchanter's bundle? And jelly goes in the artisan bundle. Yes, yes, it does. Oh, actually, I should probably maybe swing by... I should go to Clint's first. I hate that I don't have... I have, like, one, two, three, four, five inventory spots on me right now, but... Um, if I go to Clint's first, I'll have them more money to buy seeds and things. There's no quest available, is there? No, it's not this day. Alright. I thought there was going to be a quest there, which is why I brought a red mushroom. There was not, so I shouldn't have. Um, that's okay. That's okay. So I want to get these geodes dealt with. I want to sell the diamond because I want the money. Shroom's rolls. Hey, what's up, Viro? Uh, let's process geodes. However, I want to check and see what I've got. So I've got one normal, six blue geodes. Uh, one frozen geode. Or six frozen geodes. Four, five, six, and one. So I'm gonna get a bunch of stone no matter what I do. But I think I'm gonna go Frozen's first, because I don't know if I have that floor appetite. Let's do this first. Sweet. Another thing for the museum. Drifting in out of sleep. Stomach is murder right now. Oof. Sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully you drift into sleep and your stomach feels better. And more stone. Alright, can I sell anything? New! Okay, so in that case, let's upgrade to a steel... I don't have the money. Um, how much do I need? That much? Didn't... Crap, I'm down a bar! Oh no, because I made the thing. I made the beehive. I didn't replace the iron bar in my inventory like an idiot. How's Stardew going? Well, Viro. Stardew is absolute treat. Uh, I, yeah, things have been going badly. I'm at the point now where I'm just trying to salvage my run. Glad we got a rare crow though. I'm gonna mark that off on my thing. Rare crows. Five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we've got two rare crows. <sighs> okay. Rest of that stuff and stay. Uh, let's go home and grab an iron bar. Come back. Um, upgrade my axe. And then we'll go from there. I've been incredibly addicted to Ark Survival lately. Only 60 ish hours in the last two weeks. Nice. Uh, maybe I should wait a day on the axe. I think I should wait a day on the axe, actually, because then the next day I can. Um, The next day in game, I can make sure I can clean up the farm area if there is wood that shows up in the farm. Okay, where did my rare crows go? Where did I, where did I put those? I guess I'm just putting them on the ground somewhere. Let's 
the one over here. Okay. Um, so we're going to hold off on the axe. So I guess I'm going mining today. Mining and fishing. Or fishing. I need the gems, though. I should do some mining as well. Oh, and the gold. I need some gold as well. So I should definitely do some mining. Um, although I do have gold bars at the mine. Do I mine or do I fish? This is the question. Tell me what I'm going to do. I'm going to refill this watering can because I'm going to need that full for tomorrow. Do I mine or do I fish? What is going to be worth more money to me? Because really, it's, it's all about the money right now. Mine or do I fish? Did you draw or did you flew? Sell the aquamarine. Sell an amethyst. Do I ship the jade? Do I need to ship a jade? Do you need to ship gems? I don't even know. Should I stay or should I go? Uh, I don't. I don't think you have to ship gems, do you? Looking for this. Let's look on the wiki. Um, I don't see any. I don't think you do. Okay, so good. Um, I'll still ship one. Uh, well, the jade. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get enough jades. It's fine. I'll ship a topaz. Just trying to make a little bit more money. I'm going to take this bug meat, turn it into bait for my fishing rod. Uh, yeah. So, sell, 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 sell. Sell. Um, okay, let's go to the mine. And, um, try and get a little bit of gold. Do a little bit of fishing. Try and scrounge up some cash. Mines. Cause I still need like another three grand or something ridiculous. Like I still need a big old chunk of change. So that's the question is, do I fish? Fish is guaranteed money. And it's gonna be a while before I need that gold. I'm shaving up gold for sprinklers. It's gonna be a while before I need that. I'm not gonna have level six farming for a while. So I should probably fish. I should probably fish. Hate to do it. I feel like I'm not being super productive doing this, but I mean, I gotta do something. I gotta do something because I need some cash. And I have no idea when I'm going to buy a backpack. <laughs> I'm going to get the last backpack upgrade. No idea how that's going to work. Turns out you can fish with the keyboard. All right, so um, I haven't played Stardew in forever. Need to get back into my single player game at some point. Yeah, I. Yeah. I was really looking forward to doing this perfection in two year run. Like when 1.5 came out, I. Um, I had a single player game I was playing. So I took that game to perfection. Um, but I was like, yeah, I should do it as a challenge run. So. But yeah, I've really, like, made some very bad decisions. <laughs> made some very bad decisions early on. So hopefully, like I say, hopefully I can salvage it. It'll be fine. You know, even if I don't do things as quickly as I was hoping to, it'll still be fine. Any interest in playing Phasmophobia at some point? I don't even have Phasmophobia. I'm not sure, I'm not sure that I would. I'm gonna be playing Stardew for a while. And honestly, I should be doing more music streams and I'm not. Um. Although I am doing music off stream, like I'm still getting music done, but bad decisions. I like my kind of decisions. Yeah, I've it's been bad. Like 
decisions that are that have made me go, should I restart the whole run or not? Like I've played almost a month. It's pretty close to resetting the whole run last night when Diane talked me out of it. Just making just making stupid decisions with money and stuff, like you know, so I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Like, I was hoping to, like, really make moves. I was hoping to, you know, finish the greenhouse, finish the community center, really, by the third week of fall in the first year. Um, I was hoping to do that. Everything was, was, everything was going to work out for. I got the red cabbage seed. Everything's good. Uh, and then realized I, I haven't built a coop or a barn. I need to get animals going. I need to get animals going. Bought, just bought Phasmo and Devour yesterday. Yeah, saw that. Co-op horror game seemed like a good idea. <laughs> um, so yeah, everything was all planned out and everything was going to work beautifully and everything was going to be great. And then I realized, crap, I haven't built a coop or a barn. How am I going to get a large... And that's the thing. It's still going to be RNG. How am I, I still need to get a large egg. A large white egg and a large brown egg. And I have to get wool, which means I need to have a big barn, and I have to have the money to buy the sheep, and all by the by the second or third week of fall, which normally wouldn't be a problem, but I just spent 25,000 gold on the vault bundle because I thought I was going to the desert, but I'm not because I realized, screw the desert, um, because I'm not going to have, I'm not going to want to spend another 20, 2,500 gold to get to the desert and then not have any money when I get there to buy starfruit. So, yeah. Basically, it's a combination of me being a bat, me being bad at video games and very poor decision making. Um, the best legal plans can still go to hell. My invasion of Portugal. That one. Hold on a second. I can't fish and reach out at the same time. Oh, we got a chest though. I want that. Nice. Uh, one of my four session for instance, stupid mountainous terrain. <laughs> Ooh, we got bait. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. Like I say, I, I was hoping to get the community center done early so I get to the desert sooner. Because next year I want to just focus on making money when I'm all set up and I got farming level 10 and whatever. Just wanted to focus on making money and do finishing friendship stuff in year two. That was my hope um but yeah it's probably gonna be I, I i probably was just trying to do too i was trying to spread myself a bit too thin trying to get all the fishing done all the farming done a bunch of mining done like i probably if i do this challenge again next time i will focus in spring i will focus on farming just full stop foraging can kind of wait you know, even the mines can wait. Farming is top priority, so I can get the, my farming level to level 6, so I can get sprinklers so I don't have to water, which will save me time and energy. So, apparently Stardew Valley is a speedrunning is a thing. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. I actually watched a, um, it was a, a marriage run. Um, it was how, how long, like how many minutes would it take you to marry someone? And then, like, whether it's glitchless or they're using glitches or whatever. Yeah, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. It's pretty great. And there's, like, a couple Twitch streamers that uh, do a lot of, um, that that are, like, really super well-known Stardew speedrunners. Uh, one is The Habu, H-A-B-O-O. -O. Uh, the Habu is, uh, is one that, that, that streams on Twitch. Uh, I think Zianji TV also does that. TK supposed to finish the community center in 30 minutes. Wow, that's awesome. See that? I, I would be interested to see that. Like, how, for example, would you get the fish? How would you get the animals? Right? Like, so things like that I find interesting. To be fair, I've been watching some. Um, I've been watching some occasional uh, Hitman speedruns as well. Pretty incredible. I've been thinking about doing another Hitman stream where I basically just play through 
Oh, I got lots of inventory left. Where I play through the entire, all three games. You have to get very lucky with the cart, I think. Yeah, that's that's also true. Well, you'd have to get lucky with the cart, period, because you need a red cabbage to complete the community, community center. So you'd have to have a red cabbage seed or a red cabbage in the community center. But, um, but yeah, I was thinking about doing a, uh, another Hitman stream where I just play through all three campaigns in one sitting. Because I've got to the point where most of the maps that I the, in all th of the, the Hitman, the most recent Hitman trilogy, most of the maps I can do in five minutes or less. There's a few that take a bit longer, but um, most of the maps are pretty quick. So I could probably do it in one sitting, so I was thinking about doing that, where I just rip through it. And, I, and doing it Silent Assassin, too. Like, I do everything Silent Assassin, except Colorado, because screw Colorado. But, um... Basically doing a... Uh, Hitman speedrunning would be cool. I mean, yeah, it's, I'm definitely not, like, speedrun caliber. So I'm not using glitches, and I'm not, like... Um, I've been watching certain speedruns, and it's like... How did they... Wait, how did they do that? And what were they doing? And I watched one speedrun where somebody used a glitch and walked through a wall to get somewhere different and whatever. So it's kind of like... I kind of have my way of doing it that's... Some of them are pretty quick. Um... Not like world class quick or anything like that, but some of them are like you know, a, a, you know, some of them are pretty quick, and then some of them are like, I haven't found a better way to do it, kind of thing. But um, most of the maps, I'm able to get through, like I say, five minutes or less. I actually just played a couple of maps before, uh, um, before coming on stream. I played. Uh, what did I play? I played the pro the two the two prologue missions and then the Paris mission, and that was like the first prologue mission was like you know a couple minutes, the second prologue mission was I think a minute and a half, um, of actual mission time, and then the Paris mission I think was two or three minutes something like that so. Uh, I still love Mario 64 speedrunning. Some of the techniques people use are crazy. I've watched some Mario 64 speedruns too. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Mm -hmm. Seeing like the... Especially if you like... The, the crazy stuff is is when people do use glitches. You know what I mean? Like that's where stuff gets really... It really kicks it up a notch. Because it's like... Wait, how'd you do that? And what? And what? Like you bounced through... Jumped off... Wall jumped through this corner in the wall that's not there. Or whatever. Like... Um, so some of that stuff is pretty cool. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, the speedrunning community is so cool. It's just such a, like, a neat thing to do to see, like, how you can push a game. And then you do, what do they call, like, time attacks or something like that? Where it's basically speedrunning, but you're not doing it yourself. You're using a computer to try and do it kind of thing. Bounce up the steps and fling yourself through a door, bravo. I know, yeah, right? Like, where you bounce up the stairs backwards and... Yeah. But yeah, I think they're called time attacks, where it's like, you're basically using a computer and you're programming the computer to, to hit the buttons for you and stuff, so it can be, like, frame perfect. Not quite as exciting, because there's obviously less, um... Never heard of time attacks? I think it's what they're called. It's, it's less a bit less exciting because it's not, um... You know, there's no skill involved. Like you're just programming it, but it's a it's if it's a way to see how fast the game can be can possibly be done. Whereas speed running is how fast can a normal human being do it, right? So, but yeah, I was never really a speed runner. Like I've done some. I used to do like. Well, I just never really had that mentality. Like, I used to try and see how quickly I could get through something, but I would, like, I would kind of get caught up in doing this shortcut or that shortcut or, or not shortcut, but, like, doing this extra thing or that extra thing or whatever. Like, when I would play Super Mario World, for example, I would always say, yeah, I can, I can, um, from starting the game to beating Bowser, you know, 25, 30 minutes. You know, just, you just go straight to Bowser and beat Bowser. How long does that take you kind of thing? But, I mean, speedrunners are going to do it in, like, 10, 15 or whatever. I don't even know what the world record is for Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. Any percent. Um, 
glitchless whatever. But, uh, oh, better eat something here pretty quick. What should I eat? I guess I'll eat the spring onions, maybe. Get them out of my inventory. I haven't even been paying attention to the fish I've been catching, to be honest with you. Uh, spring onions. But yeah, the speedrunning speed running stuff is pretty wild. It's pretty crazy, the things people come up with and they can do. And What was the Far Cry game that you just waited in the room for 20 minutes and you beat the game? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I trying to think. It, I've, I'm not even, I don't even know if I'm familiar with that. Far Cry game would you that? Yeah, I'm not sure. Far Cry 5? Huh, I'll look that up. That sounds interesting. <laughs> Speed run a game to stand here for 20 minutes. Thanks for the lurk, Sammy. Well, it's kind of like, um, what's that game that came out more recently? We Happy Few or something like that? Where it's like, the first thing you do in a game is you have a choice to take a happy pill or not. And the game, like, to progress through the game, you're supposed to not take the happy pill so that you can, like, stay in focus on reality kind of thing. But if you choose to take the happy pill, it's like, game over, congratulations, you won't beat the game. Like, what the? It's like, you're supposed to take this drug to keep you suppressed, and if you choose to take it instead of, like, rebelling against the man, um, it ends the game. If you left the room, you played the game. If you waited, the bad guy came back and allowed you to leave. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's funny. I'll have to see if I can, if I get Far Cry 5 on sale sometime, maybe I'll, I'll try that. Oh, so close. Almost had it perfect. Time, it's, oh, it's midnight. I should get home here. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw in some more gold. Cowbell. Okay, where's... My room behind me is a mess. Hold on, let me figure out find it. You know it's been a while when I can't even find the cowbell. Hold on. Oh, here it is. You want the cowbell. You can't handle that cowbell! Okay, um, back to the game. <laughs> Cowbell. All right. I'm gonna throw in some more gold. And I should prepare to go home. So let's grab, uh, or else is coming with me. Those two, not that one. Those two are coming with me. I feel like I was going to take the Frozen Tears home. Bone fragments. Keep green algae. I'm going to need lots of food tomorrow, so... I'm going to take the topaz and sell it. So then maybe let's try and catch one more fish. This is the moment I'm hoping I don't get a uh, treasure chest. Let's see if I can just, uh, see if I can just fill my inventory up here. Got a treasure chest. That's unfortunate. Um, I mean, I, I gotta go for it. Like, I gotta go for the treasure chest. Hopefully, it's a book or something, so I don't have to take up any extra inventory spots. Hopefully, it's a treasure chest. Actually, one of those things that I can sell for twenty-five hundred gold. Rice shoots, gold ore. Okay, well, the rice shoots can definitely go. All right, let's head back to the farm and prepare for summer of year one. I sell all the fish. Hopefully that'll get me a decent amount of money. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to... Uh, if anything else I can sell? I'm going to sell the topaz. I keep the frozen tears. I need lots of those. Keep the bars. Got some geodes. I might... Yeah, maybe I'll deal with some more geodes, too. So I'm going to drop off the axe tomorrow. So let me make sure I have five of those on me. Let me make sure I have any non-omni geodes. I'm hanging on to the omnis for now. 
Watering can can stay there because I'll be back to water after I plant crops. Don't know how many crops I'm buying. I'm going to go gifting again. So I'm going to drop off a send. I'm going to give the wizard a void essence. I think void essences are easier to get than solar essences. So I'm going to hang on to the solar essences. I'm going to put this in the recycler. I'm going to grab a flower for Evelyn and a leek for George. Uh, just draw out the frozen tears. I need lots of bone fragments too. A lot of the bone fragments. Gonna leave the fiberglass rod. Pickaxe, hoe, axe, scythe. Gonna want to have the scythe. I feel like depending on how far in the mine you are, both are fairly common. I find that void essences are easier to get though because they're easier to get from the um, from the void spears, like the Krobus looking guys. Whereas solar essences, you're looking at like a ghost which takes forever to kill because it's constantly like getting thrown way back and then it comes forward and thrown way back. Or mummies, which are a pain to kill because you got to bomb them. So, or like get them with explosive ammo or something. So I, I, I for myself anyways, I, I find I end up with more void essence than with solar essence. Um, 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 I think that's it. That's all I need for tomorrow. Let's get my inventory organized. Uh, gift, gift, gift. I have four gold ore on me. No idea why. Oh yeah, because I didn't put it in the chest of the, the thing. Fine. Um, I'm going to eat that next for food. And mummy dearest, three geodes. Why not? Do I, do I do I not have any more geodes? I guess I dealt with them all today, didn't I? Yeah. Oh well, whatever. I'm going to see Clint. All right. Pet the dog. Dog sleep. Okay. Here we go. Summer. First take. First try. Ooh, mercy. Six thousand gold. And that is a huge load off the mind. Fishing is still still being good to me. All right, what's my luck? I think it's supposed to be bad luck or something. Probably. Yeah, bad luck. Uh, check of the old weather. Did I check the TV yesterday? Did I forget to check the TV? What recipe would I have got yesterday? Would have been... Uh, Did I forget to check the TV yesterday? Oh, crap. I have to look. <sighs> Recipes. I really hope I didn't. Um, recipe source. Queen of Sauce. That would have been 28th of summer, year one. Bread. I seriously forget to look at the TV yesterday? <laughs> okay, well, you know what? It's not the end of the world. I can buy the recipe from... Um, from Gus if I need to. And hopefully it'll be uh, on, a, on a rerun on the TV. <sighs> I am just not paying attention, apparently. All right. Let's go see the wizard. And... Uh, Oh, there's, uh, worms. 24 hours without checking the TV. I, I, I'm not sure what's wrong with my brain, but, um, I think I'm just, like, getting tunnel vision. Like, I'm focusing on my new ship, but I'm not keeping an eye on the big picture. Like, every Sunday, watch the TV. Every Sunday, make sure you don't need to go to the traveling cart. But I'm like panicking, so I'm not paying attention to all the little bits and pieces of things I need to pay attention to. Okay. Wizard. Have a void essence. Alright, now we're gonna go into town. We're going to go see George and Evelyn. Then we're going to. Go to Clint. Crack the geodes. Um, 
Can you know what else I forgot to do? I completely forgot to look to see if I need to use the axe to clear space, clear things on the farm. So let me pull up my daily screenshot of the farm. I think I get, a, get away with it though. There's like one piece of wood there and one piece of stone there. Um, I can work around that piece of wood. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do it, aren't I? It's like one piece of wood that if I remove, I'll be good until, you know, for the next few days till I get my, I probably don't, I'm probably not even gonna make it this far down though, honestly. Like the odds of me getting to this point with crops in the next day or the next three days is like very, like very, very slim. Hmm. Again, not really paying attention. That's okay though. We're, we're gonna get away with it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pull it together. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna make it happen. This is the quest. He wants a jade. I'll accept it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that plain chat. All right, Evelyn, you get a tulip. And George, you get a leak. All right, thought I heard shade. Okay, so uh, Shane, don't care about Shane. I will talk to Clint, however. I wonder if I could give Clint a spice berry. I wonder if Clint likes spice berries. Does Clint like spice berries? I don't even know. Uh, let's look up. Spice berry. Uh, Clint does not like a spice berry. He is neutral to spice berries. All right, well then Clint, you don't get a spice berry. So, first thing first, geodes. And the dwarf computer, sweet. I could sell one of those too. All right. Um, oh, I could sell both of them. So we're going to sell those. And then we're going to get a steel axe. All right. That's going to get me into the secret wood, which is going to get me some fiddlehead ferns, hopefully. It's also going to get me more, get me more hardwood, which is super useful. So let's stop by Pierre's and grab some seeds. And we're going to figure out how much we need for seeds. Let's talk to Gus. Gus is good peoples. Make some supplies. Nice. What up, Marnie? I love animals. Me too, Marnie. What up, Pierre? Summer seeds, you say. Sweet. I'm all about it. All right. I'm just going to pause the game. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at the checkup. I'm going to reload this. And we're going to look at skills. Details. I need 636 XP for level 6 farming. 636 is the magic number. If you look at crops, here we go, I already have them sorted by XP. The highest XP we can get is melons, that's 27. 27 XP per melon, bang bang. However, melons take 12 days to grow. Poppies take seven days to grow. So, I mean, nearly cutting that time in half. And they give me... Whoops. Uh, poppies take... And they give me 20 XP. So if I want to get 636 as fast as possible, either way, I could buy enough melons to get it in 12 days. So whatever else I do has to be fast enough like radish, for example. So a radish grows in six days, but 15 is like, I'd have to have <laughs> a large number of radish. So I think I'm just gonna do it with melons and then we'll just do other stuff and we'll just wait. So 636 divided, oops, 636 divided by 15. I have to have 42 radish plants. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so I could do 42 radish plants and have sprinklers in a week. That might be worth doing. 
Like I was thinking maybe I wait the two weeks and do it with fewer crops, so I have to do less watering for the next, but I'm only, I'd only be doing a huge amount of watering for a week. So can I buy or summer spangles actually? Sounds rad-ish. Um, summer spangle gives you the same. Oh, it takes eight days though. Um, nothing's gonna grow faster than that. So it's radish is so much math. Yeah, this is what I get for screwing up spring. All right, why won't it let me? There we go. Can I buy radishes? I can, and they're only 40. How many did I say I needed? 42, well, 43. Crap, that's a lot. But it's a guarantee, and I get sprinklers, and I really need sprinklers, so let's do it. It's gonna suck having to water all these crops, but um, I need to keep one spice berry. I put one in the community center already, I need one more. Crap, I need to ship one. If I ship, I haven't shipped the spice berry, have I? I have shipped a spice berry, sweet. Okay, I do need to keep the one. All right, let's buy 43 radish seeds. There we go, that's sprinklers. Uh, now let's flip back over to here. Um, here. Look at my summer plan and see what else we need. So we need um, hop. So we need at least one hop. One hop starter. I need uh, bloobs. Blueberries. How do blueberries work again? Spelt blueberry wrong. I spelt it wrong again. So blueberries. You get four per plant, and I need four. So I need one for sure. One blueberry. Um, how many melons do I officially need? I officially need six. I'm gonna be getting more, but I officially need six. Tomatoes, they, tom tomatoes also regrow. So let's have a look. You get one, two, three, four, five per plant, if you plant on day one. And I need uh, yeah, five per, and I need 11, so I need three. Kind of sucks. I could use speed grow or something. Um, hmm, speed grow. I wonder if I should speed grow the radishes. Would that make that big of a difference? If I speed grow the radishes, so instead of it gives it adds it gives, saves me a day. Is that worth say? Is it worth a day though? Because how much is speed grow? It's like speed grows a lot. It's like a hundred per. I think. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not worth it. One day, no, it's not not worth a hundred gold. Not worth another four thousand gold. I don't I don't have that much money. Okay, so I got I need, I need three tomato plants. Did I buy them already? No. Okay. Um, need one summer spangle. I need two sunflowers. Oh wow, that's pricey. Two hundred each. Yike. Thirteen wheat. Very important. Uh, I got the blueberries. Five corn. Corn is expensive. Yike. But wait, I need five pieces of corn. How many corn regrows? Hey, what's up, baby? See, how you doing? Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. I only need one corn stalk. Yeah, okay, that's good. Ooh, although... I was hoping to get some gold quality corn. How are you today? I am a lot of things, but not bad. You know what? I'm not too bad today. I'm like old and bewildered and full of food from a massive supper and tired from exercise and not sleeping well 
and <laughs> I'm a lot of things, but you know what? Hey, I'm here, I'm alive, I'm kicking, I can't complain. Okay, we're gonna get corn at the end. I wanna get some gold quality corn, so we'll come back to that. What was for supper? Tonight we did a, um, a kind of a chow mein-ish kind of thing. We did like a stir fry with chow mein noodles. Uh, we tried to make chicken balls uh, to go with it. Uh, they were a complete failure. Um, I've never tried, never done that before. I think it was partly just a bad recipe, um, but it was mainly just a failure. It was hilariously bad. <laughs> But yes, the chow mein was lovely. And then for dessert, homemade cinnamon buns. I made cinnamon buns on the weekend, so we had some lovely cinnamons. Chicken balls, just go right for the Rocky Mountain oysters. Uh, okay, so what, what did you have for supper, ABC? Let's talk food. Hot peppers. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight per. Eight per seed, and I need seven so i could just get one not gonna give me a lot of leeway though and they're kind of cheap i'll buy two um glad not prairie oysters we got tomatoes we got melons i need three poppies and we'll have lots of radishes uh poppy poppy poppy, poppy. one two three Boop. so i didn't buy any corn so i'm gonna sell this one spring onion and we're gonna buy, how many corn plants do I wanna buy? Just had some tomato soup for breakfast. Hey, nothing like a, a hot soup. I saw a recipe for some homemade potato and parsnip gnoc, 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 gnoc I can never remember if it's like, if you pronounce the ch, or if it's like, so is it like nachi or is it, Naki. I feel like it's Nachi. Can't, but I can't remember. With green pesto and crunchy sage that look great today. Nice. That does look good. That does sound good. Second line. Second one. Key? With the like hard k or is it ch? What did I say first? I think I said ch first. So what did I say? I can't remember. I've forgotten already. Uh corn. I only need one, but I want gold star. Gold star! Or world star. So, it will pay for itself, I think. 150, how much does corn sell for? Let me have a look at the corn real quick. Corn sells for 50. Oh, I, have to, I have to get all four in a season, yike. Close to pronunciation, okay, oh yeah, no, yeah, gotcha. So, yeah, it will pay for itself, kind of. Um, Maybe like four? It only sells for 50. Mm, I don't know. Another four would be 600. Do I want to spend another 600 on that? I need money for a barn. I'm going to... Ah, but corn takes so long to... The problem is it's barely gonna pay for itself. But I really want gold star corn. But you know what, I'm going to get gold star pumpkins. But am I though? Am I gonna get gold star pumpkins early enough in this crap? <sighs> All right, we're doing that. Okay, so did I get the 40 something? I did, okay. So now what I need to do is I need to buy more melons because ultimately I'm gonna need a lot of melons. I want to get gold star melons and I want the money and the XP and everything. So I'm going to buy a couple more to begin with. Let's go get this planted and watered. And then if I have time, I will come back and we'll buy more melons. All right. That's the plan. Fingers crossed this actually works. And of course I sold the spring onions. So that's one less piece of food that I have. Hmm. This is going to be, this is going to be rough, I think. This is going to be, it's going to be a bit of a, uh, a bit of a thing. It's going to be a little bit of a thing, I think. I was just listening to two on Spotify music. Great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you for saying that. 
I do appreciate the compliment. Thank you so much. Did I screw something up here? No. So what's that doing there? That doesn't make any sense. No, I screwed that up. Hold on. That goes there. And then boop, boop, boop. All right, let's start planting some seeds down. Let's get some, uh, start with the corn. Uh, you know what? I'm going to grab some sap. And we're going to fertilize this. So give me that many. Drop that on the ground. And we're going to fertilize the corn to hopefully hopefully get some gold star corn a bit sooner. Uh, next, let's start. Let's plant some melons. Let's do some melons right here. Whoops. Throw it on the ground again. And actually, I want uh, to fertilize the melons as well. Ground. There we go. Uh, here, let's start dropping in some random stuff. We've got... Uh, is there any particular genre for songs like Beautiful or Sunny Afternoon? I have no idea. I have absolutely no clue how to describe... Like, how to say, oh yeah, this song is that genre or whatever. I have no idea. And that's the thing when you um, when you distribute music, they ask you what genre is it, and I'm kind of like I don't know what genre is it. So yeah, I have no idea. No, I've just been saying it's like it's mainly just pop is what I've been saying. Um, so I just I just I have no clue. Um, bloobs. Let's get the bloobs planted. Oh, I have, I have one blueberry plant? That's probably going to change. Okay, and then we got some tomatoes. And then we've got some pepper. I'm trying to plant all the ones that, like, regrow kind of close to where I am. Snap, crackle, pop. And we've got some hay, and we've got some radish. Right, let's start dropping some hay down. Some hay down, hoe down. Okay, so give me the hoe. I guess I could probably just plant it up here, couldn't I? It's only ten. That many. And then we just start planting radishes until we're done planting radishes. I should also probably water as I go. So I can keep an eye on it. The energy I'm gonna need to do this. I'm also going to sell this farm computer, the dwarf gadget, rather. Don't need that, I don't think, right? No. And anything else I want to sell? Not really. Okay. No idea what I'm going to do if I run out of energy. I don't know what I'm going to do for food. That's a bit of a problem. I know I said I was going to water as I go, but I'm not doing that. So I need to get back to Pierre's and buy some more melons. 20 more? This is going to be so rough. One, two, three. So I want to buy 11 more melons. Let's quickly go do that. Then we'll come back, water, fertilize the melons, call it a day. I was trying to figure out how to send you with the recipe, but no clue. I'll send you a link to the Instagram post and you can see the cookpad page that way. All right, sounds good. Easy as ABC. Simple as me ABC. All right. So what did I say, 11 more melons? Hopefully that's right. Okay, well, um, good. I mean, the good news is we're gonna have sprinklers by next week, hopefully. Um, we sh I'm also hoping to get Gold Star Melons and Gold Star Corn to finish the quality crops bundle. 
Um, so I need 11 fertilizer. Fingers crossed. Uh, all right, so now, now the fun begins. Uh, let's water some stuff. Keep that for food, drop off the stone, drop off the sap, and that, and that, and the clay. Here we go. Already, already down to half energy. Fortunately, I've got 15 green algae on me. Wow, that cloud just showed up. Just gonna fill my watering can right now. Energy's starting to really drop. is really tanking now but I mean the good news is I'll be able to get through my watering with around half my energy which to be fair um, is what I was doing early in the game anyways so really I mean it could be worse and like I say by the time these crops are done by the time my radishes are done I actually shouldn't have put the... Didn't organize it very well. Whatever. By the time the radishes are done, we'll have sprinklers, and then it won't matter. Then I am going to absolutely start filling up... Um, filling up the... Ah, there we go. Filling up the farm with crops. And we're just going to... Tr for basically, for the last half of summer and fall, um, we're going to grow as much of stuff as we can to make as much money as we can to make sure we can get the barn, make sure we can get the coop, make, or make sure we have that stuff. Ugh, I'm a little bit worried. Okay. Uh, the spice berry I think I need to keep. Or something. Uh, for a recipe, I believe. Um, because I've shipped one, I have one in the community center already. So maybe let's, uh, I guess now we're going... I could fish, actually, because that would help. That would give me an injection of cash. So maybe let's not go to the mine. Maybe let's do some fishing. Yeah, let's do that. Keep some of this stuff on me for food. Maybe I'll leave the dandelions behind, leave the salmon berries, leave that, leave that, leave that. Okay, let's see where we need to fish. What's going to be the best bang for our buck here? Um, I'm also going to mark down some of these that I ha kind of have on the go. So, like, I planted the summer spangle, planted the sunflowers, and the wheat and the blueberries and the corn and the hops and the hopper, but the tomatoes and the melon and the poppies and the radish. Great. So all of this can be yellow. So I don't have star fruit, but everything else is planted. Ooh, I forgot I need to buy another poppy seed and another spangle seed. That's going to be the plan for the next day in game. So we're talking about... Let's delete all those rows. So for summer two, uh, gifting, um, poppy seed and spangle seed. Actually, now that I think about it, is that all I need for the tub of flowers? Tulip, jazz, poppy. Yeah, I can totally make that. That's awesome. Do, do I have the rest of though. Yes, I do, because I bought it at the thing. So I do have the recipe for the tub of flowers. It's so nice. So all I need is 15 wood. Easy. And I'll have my axe back tomorrow, probably, I think. Or next day. Um, and then a poppy seed and a spangle seed, and I can get that out of the way. Sweet. We're going to be on our way with crafting. That's exciting. Uh, okay. So... Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, right, I'm looking at Fish. What do we need to do for fish? Crimson, red, mullet. Uh, you know what? Let's just do it this way. Let's look at the fishing page. And then we're going to look at the fish themselves. And we're going to say... Is this... What? Oh. 
I need the actual fish. <laughs> Looking at fishing. Okay, so fish season. So bream, largemouth, carp, ghost fish in the mines. I'm not worried about that. Stonefish, not worried about that. Ice pip, not worried about that. Lava eel, not worried about that. Uh, sandfish, that's in the desert. Scorpion carp's in the desert. Bullheads all season, chub. Wood skip in the... Uh, I'll do it in the secret wood. Um, void salmon, the witch's swamp. We don't have the witch's swamp yet. Don't have the mutant bug lair yet. Don't have Pirate Cove, don't or Ginger Island or whatever. That's fall, winter, fall, winter, fall, winter, fall, winter, spring, fall, spring, fall, spring, fall, spring, fall, winter, spring, fall, winter, summer. Oh, sunfish. I have all the sunfish. Flounder. I have all the flounders. Have all the shads. Have all the. I do need to catch a halibut in the ocean in summer. And I do need to catch a halibut. This is my last season to do it. So, halibut's also worth 80 gold. Good to know. Uh, rainbow trout is summer in the river or mountain lake. So that could be a river fish. Octopus is ocean. But that's before 1 p.m., so I've missed that. Dorado is the forest cinder sap river. Meh. Um, super cucumber in the ocean. I might just head to the ocean, to be honest with you. It looks like all these ocean fish are going to be worth bank. I need to get to the mountain lake. I need to get a sturgeon. If I get a sturgeon and I believe a pike, I think that will complete a couple of bundles. But uh, let's just go to the ocean, I guess. Seems like uh, a good thing to do. To the ocean. I think the ocean might give me a bit more money. Of course, I gotta keep a lot of these fish, so... I don't... Maybe it won't give me more money right now. I think the next thing I'm saving up for is a building. That's probably going to be what I got to do next. Um, I really need to get those buildings built and get animals in them. So... What do I need for that? What do I need for that? I can't remember. Oh, there's bubbles. <gasps> bubbles, 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 bubbles. See how long they last. I've actually had good luck with the bubbles. Hopefully these ones last me a while. Don't care about the treasure chest. At least not until I get a bit closer. Let's try it. Oh dear. Oof. At some point, I really need to buy a better fishing rod, but that's, that's going to be a while before that happens. Oh my goodness, concentrating so hard right now. This must be like a super cucumber or something? What is this? Oh, so close. Oh, so close. My goodness. Come on, come on. Yes. Holy cow. Oh. Yike. What a thing. Oh, that was a fight. Holy cow. Wow. Whoa, oh my goodness. Hope I need that for something. Oof. Don't get into too many fights like that, especially with it, like that's something that's not a legend fish. But hey, we got a super cucumber. I mean, that that's a win. And what did we get here? Was this a red mullet? Pretty sure we need some of those. How many super cucumbers do I need? One. Two for a statue. What statue is that? I wrote that down, now I have no idea what I'm talking about. Super cucumber. Cucumba. Um, it's a fish that can be found, blah blah blah. Uh,
potentially a, a friendship quest, so I want one of the one for that. Oh, if a super cucumber is placed in the brown box located inside the fenced area north of the blacksmith, the player will receive the HMTGF statue. Oh, do I want to do that? I mean, not that badly. I mean, if I get another one, great. Well, although to be fair, if I get another one, I'm going to want to sell it. So yeah, I don't think I want to do that. So I just need the one that I caught, but I had to keep it for whatever that thing I need to keep it for is. A quest, maybe. So yeah, I'm just going to fish here until bedtime and see what, see what kind of money I can make. I don't really need flounders right now. But you know what? I'll take it. I need the money. I'll take whatever I can get. I wonder how far off I am on fishing, too. Like, I wonder how many more fish I need to get before I can get to level 10. Because if I'm close, maybe I won't sell the stuff. Like, if I'm close to level 10 fishing, maybe I'll wait, get the level 10 fishing, and then sell it when I have, when the, I can make a bit more money off the fish. Let me check. Um, what day is this? Day one of summer. Okay. Fishing. 1,800 more. Ooh, that's a lot, actually. 1,800 is a lot of, uh, that seems like a lot. And I need the money in the short term. level total experience yeah so actually well i mean it's not far off in the grand scheme of things i'm close but um a thousand normal quality stardines hope oh, yeah forget it that's not happening not happening anytime soon maybe by fall i'll have uh, level 10 fishing whoops Halibut! Nice! Needed that. We've got our halibut. Needed one, I got one. And fortunately for me, these bubbles are hanging out, so this is good. I'm especially not going to get level 10 fishing if I keep not getting perfect. Ooh, another halibut. And some trash. What does trash turn into? I think it turns into like... Like their broken glasses turn into... Um, refined quartz, which is awesome. Um, trash turns into torches, maybe? Or just uh, driftwood turns into torches. Or does driftwood turn into regular wood? I can't remember. Whatever. Either way. Another halibut. And... Ooh, uh, an artifact, sweet. All right, let me eat some more of this. I'll just eat the rest of them. Might have to start eating seaweed too, because I need to keep some seaweed, but I think I might have one or two at home. Going to lurk and try to sleep. Have a great rest stream. Thanks, Viro. Thanks for hanging out, man. Hope you get some sleep. Wow, I didn't catch one halibut all spring, and now I have four. <laughs> Five. What am I going to eat? I guess a flounder, probably. I might need to eat a fish for food. Probably going to have to eat a flounder. Well, the halibut are coming thick and fast, aren't they? Holy cow. The halibut game is real tonight. much halibut. I guess I could maybe eat a seaweed too if I need to. 
Well, whatever this is, it's feisty. Not as bad as the last one, though. Maybe is this a regular cucumber? What is this? Uh oh. Oh dear. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. It's tricking me. Oh! It's doing so well. Don't think I lost a single fish until that one. Dang. Okay, well, I got the treasure chest. I had the treasure chest. Need to eat something here, too. Probably gonna eat the halibut. Hate to do it, but. Just need the money, but. I mean, like, so many of them. Eight. These bubbles, though, wow. These bubbles have been clutch. More triangle. It's the night of the, the throwback channel points redemptions. Beautiful. I hate doing anomaly. Oh, I think I, I think the timer was going while I was doing that. Oh, well, whatever. Worth it. I have to eat something here. It's going to be a seaweed, apparently. Eat a couple of them. Then I should probably head back to the farm. See if I can catch another fish. Nope. Fish? There we go. Am I actually going to catch it? I want that treasure chest. Nice. Another halibut, isn't it? <laughs> Be another halibut. Yep. What did I get? Bait. Nice. I'll take that. All right. Catching up on Uncle Roger reviewing British people ruining Asian food. I saw one. Which one did I see? Or I don't know. If it's the same guy that was like, he was reviewing somebody making rice, and this lady made rice in a pot, and then like rinse the rice afterwards and was doing all this stuff and he, the guy in the end was just like just use a rice cooker I'm like what's that all right back to the farm well we have a lot of halibut that's for sure uh it's like 800 gold in halibut alone um just gonna check garbage cans on my way by there are plenty more where that came from All right. I didn't miss. Uh, I need to start checking garbage cans too and see if there's anything useful. Make sure I'm uh, not missing any big money items. Latest ones are a couple of not ramen. Ramen. All right. So I'm going to keep a red mullet. Pretty sure I have all the flounder I need because I'm pretty sure I caught those in spring. Yeah, they're not even on my list for summer. So I can sell the flounder, although I should double check and make sure I need two. So what I'm going to do is save inventory space. Like, let me just confirm that before I screw anything up here. Spring plan, flounder, I need two. Okay, so I'm going to take two of those out and I'm going to put two silver qualities in and that will save me a spot in the inventory. Flounder gets sold. don't even understand how some of these people are famous chefs. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, what do you do? Uh, all right, so back to the summer plan. So I need one super cucumber, which I have. I have one red mullet. So I'm going to make that green. That's my super cucumber. Red mullet, I only need one. There we go. Perfect. That's also green. Beautiful. Um, halibut is now done because I caught the halibut. 
And yeah, that's looking pretty good for day one. So I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna ship a seaweed. I don't know if I have or not. Don't know if I need to sell it anyways. How many seaweed do I need? Let me actually just, let me just take a look and see, because I know I've got a couple in a chest somewhere. I need one for a Mackey roll, five for for a fish pond. So I need six in total. I've got five on me, and I'm pretty sure I have one in a chest somewhere here. There we go. Six. So I'll eat the last one if I need it for food. Let's pop this uh, fish in there. Let's throw something in the recycler. Let's grab the watering can and the scythe and the pickaxe. Um, unfortunately, my chest of things to keep is completely full, so I'm going to have to start using this chest. But the good news is tomorrow I can take another tulip with me, another... No, wait. Have I already done the three gifting people I'm going to do? Evelyn, George, Wizard. Yes, I have. Okay. So that's good. Uh, so I don't need to worry about gifting tomorrow. Uh, this Jamie Oliver guy just literally made random Asian dish and called it ramen, just mashing a bunch of random stuff from Vietnamese, Chinese, Korean, and Japanese cuisine that doesn't even go together with whether you call it ramen or not. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of insulting. Yeah, it, yeah, I mean... Yeah. It's, it's, it's a thing. Food is definitely... I mean, different strokes, right? Some people really enjoy food that is, you know, not tasty. Some people really like mayonnaise, for example. Um, only two grand, huh? That's too bad. All right, what is my plan for day two of summer? Let's check the weather. Let's check the everything. Weather says it's going to storm tomorrow. Too bad I don't have a lightning rod recipe. And the luck today is worse luck. Sweet. The most egregious sin was not even using ramen noodles and coffee ramen. Oh man. Yeah, I tell you, it's uh, yeah, some yeah, different strokes. That's literally the only way you can describe it. For some people. That is the epitome of cooking. That's the thing, like, for me, this is why I, what I've realized in the last, like, I don't know, six months or so, is that, like, cooking is not difficult. It's really easy to make simple, tasty recipes. You don't need to do a bunch of crazy, fancy stuff, and it can taste good. It can taste pleasant, too, right? Like, like do you use lasagna noodles to call it spaghetti? <laughs> Tr I mean, true story, right? C completely true fact um, but yeah I've really like got into the whole simple tasty cooking thing but a lot of people I think I'm, I'm convinced that a lot of people don't really have taste buds that work because people will say like I remember sitting down with somebody who had made a meal one time and they were like, oh yeah, you know, I decided to make this real, it's super healthy, I put this and put that and put whatever and this and that. And I'm listening, list, listening to the ingredients going, why would you think that sounds good? And then I tasted it and I was like, because it's not. <laughs> like it was just not a good tasting thing. I just found it very unpleasant to eat. But they were really proud of this creation they made, right? So it's, it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, it kind of seems like, the idea of what they're doing is more appealing than the end result kind of thing. Like, they're more interested in the concept than in, um, than the end result, which I personally don't really... Crap. Uh, I... Pr crap, and I have nine melons right there. And a star fruit. Did I get my green bean? I don't think I got all the green beans I needed either. I think I'm one green bean short. Yeah, I am. Okay, well let's uh, let's get these melons planted, I guess. That's a big whoopsie. Forgot to plant those yesterday. Forgot I had them. So that's ten. 
me just grab some more, to be honest with you. Let's put it over here, though. Seven, eight. So I'm going to buy six more things, I guess. Um... Five. Five more things to plant. Probably five melons, I guess. And I'm also going to fertilize all... Well, I'm not going to fertilize the red cabbage, but I'm going to need to fertilize that, but... Um, I will fertilize everything else. The star fruit, because I want to sell it. Um, unless I were to keep it and put it in a seed maker, that might actually not be a bad idea. I might do that. Uh, let me make some more. Where's my sap? There it is. So I need, what, uh, however many it is. So 16, 15. It's not about the taste, although the ingredients really don't go together. It's about a white guy making a specific authentic Asian dish that not, and then not, and also doing it very poorly. It's really insulting to the culture. Oh, hey, you should, you should write him. Be like Jamie, what the heck? So, so send, him, send him a tweet. That can come with me. I should really swing by the mines at some point. Uh, all right, so I need to buy. Where was it? Five more. I'm gonna buy five melons, and a spangle seed and a poppy seed. I think it is. I'm gonna leave that spice berry there. I'll grab it on the way to the mines. I'm going to the mines. Um, five melons, poppy seed, spangle seed. it. Five melons, poppy seed, spangle seed. Sweet. Okay, so I can make the tub of flowers. Like, and that'll be my first crafting recipe. Well, not my first crafting recipe, but like, it'll be like one of my first like actual ones I had to plan out and buy stuff for. So that's good. Um, which I think I'm just gonna do right away, and then sell it. Not gonna make it. Not gonna make my money back. But so let's get these five planted. Lovely. Needs more zombie slaves. You know, I did try to play graveyard keeper, and um, I did. I did try my best. I don't have my axe. I don't have enough wood to make that. Okay, well, I'll put it all there then. Um, tried to play some Graveyard Keeper, and uh, I think after the third time, I just barely missed, you know, the third or fourth time when I would need to go see somebody before the end of that day, and I just missed them, and they were just walking away, and had to wait another week for them to come back. I was like, you know, then I went online, and I was like, let me see what other people are saying about this game, and they were saying the same thing. They were basically saying, like, honestly, the game is such a grind. Um... Is my axe done? Did I just f completely miss that? Maybe I'll swing by Clint's real quick and just, just see. Yeah, so anyways, yeah, once once I... I'm not into games that are that much of a grind. Like, Stardew can be a grind, but it's, at least it's gratifying. Graveyard Keeper I found to be a grind and not gratifying. So... No, okay. That's tomorrow. Maybe let's do some more fishing. Let's, uh, we'll go up to the mines. I never grabbed that spice bear, did I? Oh, yes, I did. Okay. Uh, well, let's just drop all this stuff in here. I'm going to leave this prehistoric tool here, too. Put some more stuff in the furnaces. Left all my coal at the farm, apparently. Whoops. Feels very casual to me. There's no time limit. It's true, but, like, when I'm trying to get stuff done, it's just like, okay, now you have to wait another week in game. You're kind of just twiddling your thumbs and whatever. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I just, uh... Most difficult thing was discovering the alchemy recipes. True story. And zombies automating a lot of the process was helpful. That is true. The zombie automation was nice, for sure. Ooh, what's this?
Am I going to catch this? Oof. Oh, I bounced off the top. Crap. Focus. Focus. I need to get better at this fishing game. I really need to get good here. I forgot it's worse luck today too, so this is fishing is going to be a challenge. Whoa, what is that? Sturgeon, sweet. Ooh, actually, now that I think about it, I use food that gives me move speed. Yeah, yeah, that's useful. I think a sturgeon... Don't you need a sturgeon to make caviar? I think it's sturgeon you need. So I should probably... not put that in the community center. Unless it, I mean, it comes right down to the end of the season and I only have one. Because I do need some caviar at some point. Seems like you could use a better rod or something if fish is fluctuating so much. Um, I don't know that the... Um, that upgrading your rod makes the fish easier. The only thing that would make it easier, I mean, having like a, I mean, yeah, I do need to upgrade my rod. I need to get the um, the iridium rod so I can have a, a bobber on it. Because um, I think I'm just using, this is the fiberglass one. So yeah, I have bait, but no bobber. Um, but yeah, either using, well, nothing, nothing, uh, no, don't, nothing affects the fishing bar that I know of. All you can do is like, either make your bar bigger or if you have like a cork bobber um no, the cork bobber makes it bigger if you have a trap bobber uh trap bobber will make the amount you've caught the fish not drop as much when you're not catching the fish if that makes sense graveyard keeper had food that lowered the variance yes yeah, stardew does not stardew, stardew does not the only thing that lowers the variance is a mod basically not really a mod, just replace the fishing file with a customized fishing file. Which I have done when I first played Stardew Valley. Let me tell you, the fishing was rough. I think what probably happened was I had some bad luck days and was trying to catch some very hard fish. And so I was sitting there going like, this is impossible. This is what fishing is in this game. Like, this is impossible. How am I going to do this? Um, did not realizing that, yeah, it was just like bad luck and whatever. So... Uh, but yeah, now that I'm more used to it, it's not so bad, but I'm still not great at it. Just be one of those guys that uses dy uses dynamite to fish. That would be kind of hilarious in Stardew Valley. Linus would probably have a fit. So I guess I need to... I gotta figure out how I can, how I can make enough money. I might have to just fish for a few days. So I need to make enough money to um, get a barn or a coop or something. I really need to make that a priority. Large mouth. How much do I need for that? 6,000? 3,000? Something? Can't remember. The good news is I have lots of crops. Oh, I'll need to clear a spot for a barn too, actually. Where am I going to put a barn? I don't know. So as soon as I get my axe, I'll have my axe tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have enough money to get a coop or a barn started. I'm trying to decide which I should start first. Do I want a coop or do I want a barn first? I don't know. Does it matter? I also don't know. I should have eaten the spice berry. Why didn't I eat the spice berry? Um, because I need chickens. Hmm. I just need it all, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I should do first. Should I do a coop first or a barn first? I mean, a coop I think will get me a bit of money because it is one of your journal challenges. 
So I could do <gasps> bubbles. I gotta catch a fish. Here we go. Um. So Coop might give me a little bit of money. Oops. Oh, lost perfect there. Oh, there we go. I got a feisty one again. This one doesn't seem too bad. Maybe it's another large largemouth or something. There we go. Oh, sweet! Another sturgeon. Perfect. So I can put one in the community center. Maybe I'll swing by the community center on the way back. So yeah, getting that sturgeon in there will be super useful. It's 3.50 p.m. I really want to try and milk this for all it's worth. What am I going to eat now? Spice berry, I guess. Oh, I'll eat that algae that just caught as well. That's awesome. I got two sturgeons. Sweet. There we go. So now I'll know when my inventory is actually going to fill up. Oh, the bu bubbles are gone. All right. Um. See, maybe I will swing by the community center. Get the sturgeon in there. And I caught a red s mullet, red mullet at home. Is that a bundle fish or is that a... So, no, specialty... Red snapper, that's what it is. Tilapia and tuna. Still need to get some crab pots going at some point. There's the sturgeon, so we'll be able to finish that lake fish bundle. A walleye, I think, is fall. And tiger trout, I think, is fall. So there actually isn't much I can do in the summer. I think I can catch something of those. Tilapia, red snapper, tuna. Tuna, tilapia. Oh, I can catch all three of those, okay. So, yeah, so I'll be able to finish a couple of bundles in the summer, but not too many. Two of the six or however many there are. Don't particularly like fishing with the keyboard. Kind of used to it with the mouse. There we go. Well, what do you do? Well, I mean, I think if I can get a coop built sooner than later, I think, um, because I can get a barn built right away, too. Not right away, but, like, as soon as I can. Um, so, coop is, a re I mean, I'll ignore resources. 4,000 for a coop. And, what, 6,000 for a barn? So, I need 10,000. Oh, I might not be able to do this. Again, if I hadn't got that vault bundle, I'd be fine. But... How am I going to get 10,000? And I'm not going to have a sheep. I'm not going to have wool. But do I need the wool? I think I need the wool. Um, combine them, make a, make a boop. I would love to. So they make wool. Wool is in the animal bundle. So here's the problem. The animal bundle, I have six options for five things. I either need wool or a large goat milk. So here's the problem. The cheapest way to do it is to go for the goat milk, go for the large goat milk. But I would have to have another 12,000 gold to build a big barn and then buy a goat on top of that. And then I would still have to get a large goat milk. I'm still depending on RNG to get a large goat milk. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish the community center as early as I wanted to. I don't think it's going to happen. I might have had a chance if I hadn't bought, done the vault, but unless 
something crazy happens and I get a massive windfall of some sort. Like I get one of those treasure chest things I can sell for 2500 gold or or something like that. Um, I don't think it's going to work. Sell super expensive artisan farming gear to rich IT tech because that's a thing now. It's been a thing for a while. Um, try to think of like what I can do. I mean, crops, I guess. I guess I just, uh, oh crap. I guess I just, I mean, I'm going to have the sprinklers next week. Um, because hell, I think animals take like a week to grow or something like that to, to, to for you're getting anything from them. But it takes a long time before you uh, takes a long time before you get like high quality stuff or you know whatever. So I don't know. I'm not sure. I may have shot myself in the foot. May not be able to recover from that. So what's the disadvantage? Well, the, the biggest disadvantage is that I'm not going to get to Leo because I still have to get max heart, like 10 hearts with Leo. So... Ooh, I need to eat something. Yeah, I have another 5 health. Um, so I don't think it's going to happen in fall. I'll have the greenhouse at least. Which means I will be able to get some money because I'll be able to get some star fruit going. So, I mean, that's good news. But I don't think... I just don't see myself having enough money to do coop and barn and animals early enough. I'm using this one too. Dang it! I can't keep screwing those up. I need that money. Yeah, I don't see myself quite having enough funds to do coop and barn and animals early enough to get the RNG to get the large gold milk, the large cow's milk, the large brown egg, the large white egg. Like, I just don't know if I see that happening. Which is rather unfortunate. I feel like I should I should stop fishing here. Like I feel like I've done a good amount of fishing here. I even call it maybe it managed to snag a couple sturgeons on a bad luck day. I feel like maybe I should go to the river and try and catch some river fish. See what I can do down there. So let's um. So what do I have here? I've got some rainbow trout. Do I need rainbow trout? I need two. Got four. Um, what else do I have? Sturgeons. I need two. I've got two there. I already had bullhead. That's literally all I've got that's new. Yike, I should not have wasted my time here. Just lasso the whole river like a folk hero. Alright, let me throw in... Oh, I was going to throw some stuff in the furnaces, but I don't have... Uh... Whatchamacallit. I don't have my coal on me. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing back to the house first so I can sell some of this fish to clear out some inventory space and then I'll hit up my river spot try and catch a few river fish here. So those get sold. I need two sturgeon. I'm going to keep the carp for food, sell the chub. Uh, rainbow trout I needed two, right? Yep. There we go. Is there room in this chest for anything? So that's two rainbow trout. They are in the chest. That goes green. Uh, two sturgeon. That's in the chest. That goes green. And that's literally it. Literally all I've got. Alright. Unfortunate. So I should really sell that spitter too. I'm never going to use that.
<laughs> I keep bringing ore with me. Don't know why I keep doing that. Uh, Alright, so this chest is full now, right? Yeah. I really need to get some stuff dealt with here. I should make more chests, really. So I'll just put this prehistoric tool right there. Alright, let's head to the river. Let's go this way. Maybe your last. I don't know. Let's go this way. So, let's start thinking about tomorrow here. So, tomorrow I'll have my axe. So, I need to get into the secret wood. I'm going to need to write that down because I'm going to forget. Um, next day, no. So, summer two, gifting. No, summer three. Um, so, get axe. Make tub o flowers. Um, must remember to get a garlic seed on the 7th. I need to uh, get into secret wood. Need fiddleheads. Um, what else? And then maybe I'll do more fishing for money slash fish, the fish that I need. Um, and then we're going to say coop as soon as possible. How much are the animals? Let me, let me, let me at least give, give me a sure thing with one thing. So like a chicken, how much is a chicken? 800, and then how much is a cow? 1500. So maybe I do chickens first. Cows mature after five days after which they will produce milk. Once sufficient friendship and happiness, they will produce large milk. Oh, um, yeah, but how many is that though? How many, how many friendship, how many cow friendship is, is that? Friendship. Animals. Um, produce, here we go. The mood is 115 above. It can produce quality or larger deluxe items. It's still RNG, but at least, you know, whatever. And then, so that's mood. And what about friendship, though? Friendship. Out of five hearts, each heart is 100 points. So I gotta make sure I pet them every day. Gotta make sure I do the milk and shear. Gotta make sure they have grass outside. And I must pet them every day or else you lose friendship. That's 100. So if I do shepherd or coop master animals so that's not going to work so i'm going to get 15 a day so it's going to take me nine or ten well probably like a week in game seven twenty so seven seventy and thirty five is a hundred yeah so it'll take me a week in game of petting to get them oh no maximum friendship value is a thousand So hold on, does friendship is that does friendship actually affect? No, it's only mood. And mood goes from zero to two fifty-five. Excuse me. So petting is thirty-two. Eating grass outside sets the mood to two fifty-five. So in theory, if I make sure there's enough grass outside, so I should buy some grass starter. Um, coop. Uh, let's do the coop first. Grass. So I'm going to buy grass starter to make sure I've got lots of grass wherever I put the coop so that way they can eat the fresh grass outside, which is going to make them happy. Um... And then if I can keep them happy with the fresh grass, then after a week or so, they'll be full size and I can start getting as good a stuff as I'm going to get from them. Okay, so so I need to get a coop as soon as possible. That's what it comes down to. And a barn as soon as possible as well. You know, it's funny, I made a, went to all the trouble to get down here to the river, and now I'm thinking, are there any evening river fish that I'm going to be catching? 
Like, am I going to be getting anything that I actually need? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. Grab the axe, secret wood. Um... Oh, I'm out of bait. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, that's not good. Um, that's real not good. That's real, not real, real not good. Um, I guess I'm going to have to do some mining. <laughs> Mine for some uh, copper, maybe. Do some, some early level mining and... Try and get some bug meat. To get some more bait going. I need, I need that bite rate. This one's jumpy, but it's not jumping very far. What, what is this? A pike. Sweet. Needed that. Uh, let's eat this. I mean, I'll just I'll fish as I can. Like, Hopefully I don't have to eat all my... Well, fish. <laughs> because I'm still going to be burning through half my energy watering all the crops tomorrow, so mm -hmm. I need to uh, make sure I have a bit of energy for that. Hopefully I'll be able to have a little bit of food. I how many pike I need. I should check and see how many pike I need. Uh, summer plan. Pike. One. Sweet. That's going to be the one for the uh, for the bundle. I should really swing by the community center, maybe. I wonder if I should do that. Swing by the community center and uh, this is also a feisty one. What is this? Another pike? Huh. That one was far more jumpy than the first one. Um, yeah, I should swing by the community center maybe and drop off some of these fish. Yeah, maybe I will make a point of doing that tomorrow. Oops, crap. Well, this might have to be my last one if I don't get something I can eat. I guess I can eat one. Well, no, I want to save it for money, though. I really don't want to eat a carp. I want to save that for watering crops tomorrow. Oh, that green algae might, might have just saved me. It'll give me one, one or two more casts. I mean, the good news is my fishing level is going to be... going to be I mean, that much closer to level 10, right? So... I'm kind of tempted to wait until to, to see what my fishing level is. Because if I'm close enough... Oh, am I going to be close enough, though? I don't think I am. I don't think I'm... No, I don't think I'm going to wait. Honestly, I could wait till level 10 fishing, but... It could take... Oh, crap. I screwed up. I saw the thing show up to say it was getting late, and I was like, Oh, fish! Um... Yeah, I don't think... I think I should sell it. I, I mean, I'm not going to get level 10 fishing tonight. So, and I need, I'd rather have the money. I mean, there's a small chance that I'm close, but... There's no way to know... Because I was such a long ways away. I'm level 10 fishing. <laughs> it's a good thing I looked. Um, okay, so we're not going to sell any fish. Crap, I sold all the fish already. Okay, well, I'm going to grab whatever fish I can grab back out of the shipping bin. And uh, we'll save it for tomorrow when I'm when it's worth a bit more. Whoops, that was a mistake. But hey, we hit level 10 fishing. That's fantastic. That's going to make be, mean more money in the bank. So we will swing by the community center tomorrow, drop off what we can. Um, sturgeon, pike, whatever. What can I pull out of here? That. Great. Um... All right, so let's take this down as a note here. So we're going to, we'll probably swing by the community center first. Um, CC, take fish, get the ax, make a tub of flowers first as well. Okay, we're gonna make the tub of flowers first thing. No, we're not, because I gotta get the ax first, so never mind. So get that. 
there we go. So um, CC take fish, get the ax, make because I need the ax to get the wood to make the type of flowers. We're also going to get into the secret wood. Uh, hopefully I'll have enough money to buy a coop. And then also going to buy some grass starter from before I get the ax. Let me make sure I have a grass starter, at least one. And yeah, that's the plan for next time. But let's just see how much money we made here. Let's go to bed, I think. Oh, let me grab my stuff I need for tomorrow here. So I'm going to want to have the scythe and the axe and the watering can. I'm going to sell this dress spinner. I'll sell it right now, actually. Uh, I got all those there. Actually, no, what? I'm going to take these with me so that I can make the tub of flowers on the go as soon as I get my axe. Just cut down the nearest tree. Make myself a tub of flowers. Um, yeah. And it's going to be... St I don't have to water. It's going to be storming tomorrow. <gasps> That's so exciting. I really hope lightning doesn't strike any of my crops. Crap. I really hope lightning doesn't strike any of my crops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. All right. You know what? We'll worry about that. We'll worry about tomorrow tomorrow. Hey, fish worth 50% more. Nice. So we made another 2,000, another almost 3,000. Sweet. So I have enough to build a cooper a barn. It is storming. There's an earthquake in the night, which means I should have the train station, which is awesome. I can get a uh, omelet. Still need the bread recipe. Bad luck day. And sunny the next day. Okay, so everything's watered mercifully. Lewis wants his shorts. Got some pine tar. Um, let's have a quick look at the farm screenshot. Check for forageables and stuff as well. I haven't been doing that. Let's have a quick look at today on the farm. So I see a sweet pea. Oops. There's a sweet pea right there. Um, what else do we see for forage items? Don't see a lot or anything other than one sweet pea. Um, okay, so where am I going to put a barn? I feel like i got to put the barn over here because there's a bunch of grass there. can cut down those oak trees, just clear out basically this space right here. Kind of right in there. I'm going to leave that oak tree tapped. And I'll start just... I'm just going to level the farm. Like, all the trees have got to go. I should have access to the train station now, which means I can get a tree farm going up there, so I'll do that. Um, I'll make it an oak farm, get some more tappers going, so I'm ready for kegs. Um, hopefully. Although it's going to be a while before I'm ready for kegs, because I'm going to need sprinklers first, so maybe I'm not even going to worry about kegs first year. Hate to say it, but that might have to, I might have to wait. Um, yeah, so I don't think the plan changed. I'll I mean, I can grab the... Uh, I'm not going to grab the sweet pea. I will, however, grab the pine tar. And, um, yeah, we're going to get a coop going. And, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have work row eight as well. And, uh, yeah, so that is the plan for next time. Pine tar, community center, grab the axe, buy some grass starter. Maybe we'll buy some grass starter first. Uh, make buy some grass starter. Get in, get the axe. Make a tub of flowers. Head back to the secret woods. Once we've done all that, we can do some fishing. And we'll see if I can get a coop made. Hmm. The problem with that is that a coop needs three hundred wood and a hundred stone. I have the stone, but I do not have three hundred wood. So maybe I won't fish. But I'm going to need food. We'll see. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That is the plan. 
for next time. Yeah.